all that mess was never needed to occur because I didn't even know you was a person. Um, I don't remember how I found out about her ass. I don't know. I think, I'm just telling how she found out about me because I didn't really give a fuck about her. My fucking shit was running thin for What is going on, my tea babies? It's she got Tiari and I am back with another video. As you see by the title, we are going to be doing a lovely video today. Story time of a fight that I had had in high school. So really, I don't really know what I'm really finna be doing in this video for real, for real. I don't really know what this video is gonna go for. I'm just gonna be talking about what I remember. And you know, it's just gonna be a lovely video to watch. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and then just get into the video. Um, before we get into it though, let me do a little disclaimer. Um, no, I'm not trying to bring drama back. No, 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 no. This is not what this video is consulting of. This is for entertainment purposes only. I really don't care for what the girl's doing. I don't care for the girl. I'm really not trying to start nothing back. And if things get started after this video, after nothing happened in this video, we're going to have some problems because I'm not doing that again. That's now. Like, I have class. And that time that what I did, it seemed like I didn't have a class. So, yeah. And also, if y'all talk about my towels on my bed... Why are you looking at there first of all? And second of all, I got to fold them tomorrow, so not too much on me. But, you know, it be them times of nights where you're going to be feeling like doing nothing. So, you just leave them on the edge of your bed and do it in the morning. So, for any people out there that feel like you need to judge me, don't judge me because it's nothing to judge. But, anyways, let's just get into the video. So, where should I start off? Um, We're just going to start off from the get-go when we first knew that each other existed for, for real. Because I guess that's just the easy way to start. So, at one point in time, she was messing with this old dude that I was cool with. And one point in time, what happened? Um, Me and him wasn't talking for real, for real at the end of uh, ninth grade because I guess we got destined because of personal issues of our own. And that's cool, whatever. Like, you can rekindle all that stuff like you want to with a person that you ain't talked to in a minute. So, that's what I did in 10th grade. Because um, I had lucky, I ain't gonna lie, I lucky forgot about him, but I didn't forget about him, if that makes sense. But yeah so one of our mutual friends me and the boyfriend so, um what should i call him because he's gonna be a part of the story for a good little minute so i'm gonna give everybody a little name before i even get into the video so the boy we're gonna call him i don't know y'all like i don't even know what to say um we're gonna call him middleman middleman because he was always in the middle of that situation because like i guess he was the he wasn't really like i would say like the problem but she felt like she had a problem with me because of that situation over there. But it really was never the case. But we're going to call him middle man. And the girl, I really want to say something so out of pocket. But I'm really not going to do all that for this to phase back on me and then have some drama back in my life. Like, my life ain't going positive right now. So I'm not going to do all that. But she is not going to get all the, the good the good names out here. So I'm going to give her a little something like, like, I don't know, y'all. Like, I really gotta think about this for real, for real. Let me just not let me not take all my time away. Let me just really give out a little simple name. Uh, so we gonna call her N Girl because her first name start with N and shit like that. So N Girl. And yes, if y'all know who I'm talking about, oh well, because y'all really gonna do nothing about it. Because I ain't put her name out there. I'm not making this about drama. So whoever well, got a problem with it, they can really kiss my. I really don't care. And then her little friend was in it too. We gonna call her. I ain't really finna give her too much of this video, but she finna get a little name too because she was in it. So we're just gonna call her Yes Man because everything that her friend said, it was always yes to because I don't care. I don't like, I really don't because this ain't, this ain't even nothing for us. It's an entertainment video. So I know how people get. That's why I'm talking like this because it's just like, I don't care. So. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna talk about middle man. Middle man, me and him was cool in ninth grade. So I was talking at the end of ninth grade and got back cool in tenth grade. I had seen him in the hallway like that. And he was with our mutual friend. So, you know, I spoke to him or whatever. And I had to speak to him about a situation that happened a long time ago. But we're not gonna get into that because that's a whole different story. But I had I walked over to him. I'm like, what's up, what's up, what's up? He was surprised to see me or whatever. So, you know, he was like in shock or whatever. At the time, I did not know that who was his, that was his girlfriend. Like, I did not know because like she was in the background. It's like when you look at one person, just the background, just like like we're not really not really visible for real for real but i could kind of see her out my peripheral but i didn't really care for her for real because she was just another female so it really was like you know a little simple conversation i wanted to have and what happened um the bell had rung and i was supposed to be in class like the bell at my school be ringing fast as i mean it's be going by like that so it's like if you ain't in class you guys be like oh turn around and go get something like some teachers might be like oh you can get away with it but 
Some might be like, nah, go get that. Go get that thing. Go get it now. So, you know, I'm right there by him. And I'm like, okay, see you later. And he had like a plate of food or whatever. So I grabbed the fire and I'm like, and I left. So after that, um, what happened? Um, he had texted me or something like that. Or he had texted me or I had texted him, one or the other. And me and him just got started pretending back our friendship and whatever. And what can I remember? Um, at one point in time, me and him had something, but it wasn't really like that serious. And I don't think she really knew about it at the time, but it really wasn't that serious. Cause like it was really more of a situation where we was flirting at the time, but it really didn't get into too much more because we had two little different situations going on. But yeah, anyways, um, I remember for real, for real, is that it was homecoming time, and that's when me and him started talking back talking, and then I guess they was on the phone or whatever, because he had told me, like, he was telling me like that, because, like, he was my friend before he was my girlfriend, so of course he gonna tell me shit. So he was like, um, they was on the phone one time, they was writing girls' outfits or whatever, because I guess that just, that's what they was doing, so whatever. And she was like, oh, this one girl ate, this one girl was cute, he was like, who? And then, he sh and then she showed the picture or whatever, she was like, Tiara, she was like, do you know her, da, 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 da. And I think the situation probably happened before um, I grabbed the fry out of his hand at one time, or it was probably, I don't know. But at the time, she thought I was really pretty. I don't care, like. That's what that's what I know of. I, I mean, like I am really pretty, but I'm just saying. I mean, if you think I was really pretty, I mean, I appreciate you, Bookie, but all that mess was never needed to occur because I didn't even know you was a person. <laughs> like, if we're being honest. But anyways, like I was saying, so she had said I was pretty, or whatever, and I guess he and guess she got mad because I guess she was overprotective about him or whatever. And I understand you. I understand, like, some people need to be overprotective about their man because some people, man, can't, can't get it together. But, baby, don't influence me in the book about your man because that's never the case. Later on, passed by, um, me and him was cool or whatever. And it's just, like, I felt like it was secret animosity because, like, every time that I was around or every time that I would be associated with myself with her man, middle man, it's just, like, and girl felt the need to, like, call me out my name. Like, one time she told him, fuck you. What she tell him? She was, like, she called me a bitch. Why you walk around that bitch? Shut up. Like, that's so middle school. Like, I was just, like, not involving myself in the book. Just, like, one thing that had happened after all this shit happened, because, like, I don't know what the case was, case was, because, like, I guess she was talking about my name or whatever, and it's like, I would never involve myself in book because I've been around bitches in life that talk about me, and it's just like, what are you going to do? You going to hit me? Not, not one bitch on me yet. Like, and that has talked about me, because it literally has gotten to a point where it was like, I mean, but they would never swing, and it was just like the situation would just like die down. But this situation never died. Like I'm telling you, it went on for months and months and months. And it's just like I would never put myself in a situation like that ever again, because I felt like in that midst of that moment, I just couldn't take people feeling like they could run over me because I'm just little, or I feel like that I don't have a voice or some shit like that. And that's just like I I couldn't do it. So later on, months passed by. I think this was like what was this? This was November, December, June. I don't care. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. It's like the situation be pissing me off sometimes, but I just like I didn't care. Um, somebody has sent me some messages right where um, her and her and girl and fuck ass man and one of their other friends. I think they friends still. I don't really care, but they um was on the group chat and one of the other girls had sent a messages to my man. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm fucking him. I'm sorry. That was so unnecessary. That was so unnecessary. I didn't. Okay. Y'all probably looking at me like your man. Hmm. Your man. Like, okay. Let me explain that. Because I wasn't even supposed to say my man. Because that wasn't really supposed to be the point of it. But. Yes, it's my nigga now. Because it's just like. No, it wasn't because I wanted to take her from him. Or that I wanted to deal with him. But the man come in. No, it was never none of that. It was really because we really had some shit ninth grade and it just never worked out because we had two different situations going on but it was just like no i did not mess with that little shit. it was just like he started talking to me after dealings with her and it was already something going on me and him not in the midst of them dating but i'm just saying never die between us for real for real but you know y'all i ain't that type of bitch i don't care got something to say about me through this camera because it's just like nigga i know what i did and i know what i didn't do so um i feel like i ain't do nothing so if you wanted to be with me you could have been with me this entire time but you know we had to go through all this
We had to go through all that extraness to be together. And now we are inseparable, but we're not going to get into that right now. We're going to get into the part where my fucking bitches were trying to think for bitches. What had happened? So they was in a group chat or whatever, and one of their little friends sent to my man. And then they get my man going to send it to me or send it to the group chat. It was either one of those. It was to either the group chat, because the group chat didn't already like her ass. She did other shit. Now, me personally, she would just talk about me because she ain't fucking because I was associating with her man, but it really wasn't like I was flirting with him while she was with him because I find that really home record ish. But I strongly feel like, bitch, you gotta make yourself feel like you don't want to be with him, then you shouldn't sit there and be with him because you always mad at him. Like, I just feel like that was the case in that relationship. I don't even claim that to be a relationship because I just feel like, what the fuck? No, I ain't home. I ain't really do none of that extra. I would get into detail about how the whole little situation went down, but that's never the case because I don't feel like going to detail because it's my business. They had sent it to the group chat and the messages was like, I think I could put all the little messages up here on the screen. That's what I'm finna do because I'm recording on my phone and I'm just going to go off memory of what I said. So basically what was said was in the group chat, they was like, oh, my homegirl, I mutual friend out of me and middleman. They was talking about her first and they was like, oh, she was popping her gun too loud. Da, 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 da. I want to beat her up. Da, da. Mind you, that's so middle school. I was looking at this shit. Like, what the fuck, nigga? We is in fucking grade. Y'all niggas talking about some gum chewing. <sighs> Anyways, I'm just speeding past this shit. See my little name pop up, and I'm just like, oh. I had to re-look at that shit. I'm just like, nigga. Why? What did I do? Literally, I'll be in my bed all day. I don't be bothering the soul unless I get bothered. But, you know, whatever. So I see my name in there, and it's just like her little friend, her yes man, she had something to say. Or it was her and the yes man at the same time. It was like, oh, don't let her bring to yard. And then her yes man will say, if she brings to yard, she can get ass too. Huh? Mind you, out of the um, out of the end, girl, it was known that she wanted to fight me, but it was never coming back to me that she wanted to fight me. But I just strongly feel like, why the fuck you fight if y'all don't know me? Bitch, find something to do. I got, I, I tell you what you can do. Play a traffic. Y'all don't know nothing about me, mind you. Y'all don't know shit about me to call me out my name. So, I just feel like that was unnecessary. So, you know, I addressed it the next day because I just feel like, bitch, I'm going to sit there and belittle me, bitch. I'm not doing that. So, you know, me and my friend, me and my friend walk um together when we're going to our third period. And then, you know, her friend and my second period. Me, personally, I didn't make no scene in the second period because I had to get my work done. Because that's how classy I am. I don't do that extra shit because that shit is petty, messy, and stuff like that. If you want to take that shit. You take that into a private place. You don't sit there and do that extra shit in a public place because it's just like, nigga, it's a time and a place for everything. I don't do that extra shit. Anyways, yeah. So we caught the friend in the hallway. Hi, walk fast, speed past, and shit. I'm like, so what would you say? Like, yeah, me and my friend ambushing her because it's just like you sitting in your group chat talking all that shit about that Kiki and over the phone. What are you talking shit about? Like, I don't know you. I don't care for you. I don't really give a fuck. So why are you bringing my name up in your conversations? That's all I wanted to know. And it was just like, I wanted to see what the issue was. Because it was just like, if you don't want to fight about it, that's how I felt. Like, if you don't want to fight about it, I don't see the point of talking. Because if you're not going to sit there and say that shit, what is the point of saying it at all? She moved on the third period, bitch, my phone, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Then she take, then a fucking girl takes a motherfucking little man talking about some Bitches ain't hanging up with my friend. Da, 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 da. Girl. First of all, I don't got an issue with you right now because you're not even, you're not even like, like bold enough to say none of this shit. So I just feel like, what is your problem? So yeah, moving on. I text the mother because she, the fucking girl was like, oh, well, text her. Text yes, man. Text her. Da, 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 da. I'm like, okay. I text her or she texted me either way or go. So we texting back and forth and she trying to be sweet and shit. Like, bitch, fuck play with me because it's not the time. You sitting here talking all that shit in your group chat for what? She's like, what group chat are you talking about? Acting like she got amnesia and shit. I'm just like, oh, you so you wasn't like, oh, da 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 da, you was gonna beat your I'm through da da da. She like, oh, I did say that, and I apologize because I don't know you da da. Y'all, for the people that know me, they know I don't accept apologies. So my ass looking at shit. Oh, she apologized. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. But when I tested back, it was given very much. I don't give a fuck about you and I don't care about that apology and fuck and your apology. And I stand on that to this day. Because I just strongly feel like you owe me that apology. Because if you meant your apology, you wouldn't have did what you did. So you wouldn't have to apologize. And I said what I said. Later that night, yes, in girl finally decided to give me a little, a little ringy ring. 
not called, but she gave me a little a little text on IG. She like, I guess that's how she was over the phone, cause the messages was sounded a little sweet from the hot. Uh, just so it was like, um, what is your problem? Because we can get through this issue. My sitting here like, first of all, I'm not into that sweet, cause like you sitting here doing all this bull. Not a, and I don't have a problem with you. I don't know you, and I don't really know you like that, Bookie. So why did you talk a shit? So I guess she got a little rowdy in the end. She was like, "Fuck, she heard you stalking my page." Oh, you was still with um middleman. You over here doing bullshit. I wanted to fight you, but I don't think I want to fight right now because it's shit petty. I'm like, bitch, would never been my had you not had a problem with me in the first place. I don't know you like that for you to have a problem with me. So you got a problem with me. If you mad about a nigga, you really stupid as fuck. Cause I don't really care for a nigga like that for you to sit there and be if you if you that pressed about a nigga, you act like any other niggas in the world. Why are you sitting here pressing me about a nigga that I could have been had? <laughs> like baby. Okay, I have him now, but I'm just telling you, don't sit there and get you beside yourself and feel the need to get a, catch your attitude with me because I'm friends with your nigga. I've been friends with your nigga. I just really barely talked to him because we got distant. But at the same time, you're not going to sit here and talk shit about me when I don't know you. I don't know. I don't be knowing bitches be having a problem with me. I don't know their problem, but you know, I guess you should be having a problem with me. And I really don't give a fuck. So after that little conversation we had over Instagram where we both was cussing each other out and I'm like, back to the block, let you go, you big All that shit and then the shit shut the down. I'm just like I'm done talking to bitches. Bitch, I ain't never once in the hallway pressed me, so I'm really, I'm really not gonna get into the issue with that. So you know, must pass by, must pass by. It's May or April. No, it was May. It had to be May because I fought her the day after that. So it's May, right? And it's volleyball conditioning. My ass already hyped because I'm trying out with my friend or whatever. And then I happen to see um one of my friends, right? We're gonna give her a name too. She a stud, so I'm gonna be like. Stud K, I'm gonna call it Stud K. So Stud K came in there, right? And you know, me and her have a friendship where it's like, you can't get mad at who I hang out with, it, and I don't get mad at who you hang out with. It just keep them away from me and keep them distant, cause I don't really, we don't really like people, friends like that. So you know, that's how it be. So I don't know what progressed my fucking friend and her fucking head to do that, but you know, we had to talk about it. We cool now, y'all. It's it's whatever. So after that, um, Slug K came down there to support me during volleyball conditioning. She really couldn't stay down there long. I don't know why she came down there, but she came down there. So she was trying to support me or whatever like that. But guess who was falling behind her? Fucking in, girl. I'm just looking like, I'm looking at Slug K. I'm looking at her like, now really? She's like, be nice, be nice, see, be nice. I'm like, okay, I'll be cordial. No one damn well. I don't fuck bitch in my presence every time she breathed near me i get an attitude like that shit pissing me off i hate that we go to the same school i pray i ain't even gonna lie i pray she moved like i just pray me and my friend right we trying now for a uh, conditioning so okay let's move on whatever so everybody just standing there over the wall minding their business or whatever so after we get done changing we go over there and stand on the wall as well so you know I'm just standing there or whatever, and me and um and girl was near each other. Like, we was kind of close. Like, we, like, say this is me right here, and this her. Like, we, we ain't that close, but we, we know, we keeping our distance. So, you know, Stud K decided to say some bull****. I was straight bull****. I'm, I'm looking at her like, after she said, I'm just looking at her like she fuck. This is my nerd say, how we all be friends? That's when the disaster has started. So, after she said that, we both were just saying this shit simultaneously. No, no, fuck her, da, da, da. Then she started saying some bullshit under her breath. And I was like, bitch, fuck you. She like, what the fuck you say? I'm like, fuck you. And then she rolled her eyes at me and I rolled my eyes back. Because you're just like, nigga, you ain't going to pop shit right here. If you really was bad, you would have popped shit. She didn't pop nothing. So, I really don't give a fuck like that. And I knew she wasn't going to pop nothing because you barely prepared to fight me right now. But, you know, anyways, so we started arguing for a little good little minute. She started trying to buck up at me, not get in my face or nothing. Like, she tried to make it seem like, but she did get a little, a little close. Like, she was like, a little like this. She, she didn't even turn on nothing. She was talking straight. Like, she was like, you want to fight me? 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 But because, you know, it's a time and place for everything. Like, my voice be so high, not high, but aggressive when I'm angry. So, that's, imagine me talking like, I'm mad at somebody. Like, yeah, that's how it went. And then after that, you know, I'm calling my man because he need to get his fuck 
ex because that shit was pissing me off. And I just like, I want to try for volleyball, but I'm not finna let no bitch respect me at the same time. So we gonna figure this out after I get out of volleyball conditioning. Didn't get to go either. Y'all might earn fall. Didn't get to go to volleyball conditioning because I didn't have my physical all the way, but I went, I went, I went in tryouts though. But anyways, yeah, so I called him down there. I'm like, come down here before I beat your ex ass. See what I said. So he came down here and then we all just standing there looking like, well, that's how we all was looking. We was looking like, what the fuck? Because just like, you got to say something. I called you down here for something. I don't know what I called him down there for, but I just needed him to calm me down or whatever. And then we have her ass girl who decided to stand there and be silent. We all looking at her like, why you ain't saying that the bookie? Then after that, um the coaches that came like that and they asked everybody to get out because you know i guess it was just a, like a, a, a who just trying out session so everybody got to get out so her and um stud k left and whatever and she had the nerve to say something on her brush like she getting on my nerves well i'm gonna make it worse i'm gonna make it worse like that's exactly what i said i'm like i'm gonna make it worse the fuck? i don't care but yeah because like bitch, keep trying me and it's just like why are you trying me and i don't know you anyways after that situation um she decided to text my one friend right because she the only one out of our friend group that didn't get blocked so she decided to text my friend right trying to make trying to arrange like you know when to fight or whatever because no no this was after she had decided to go post on ig and be a child so i became a, i became an infant i became an infant because it's like you're not finna play with me I was so heated when I got home because it was just like, I didn't get to try out because I had my visit school. Like, I didn't get to do nothing that I wanted to do today. Like, I, it was really a bad day, to be honest. She just put the icing on the cake. So, um, so we on IG, right? She's talking about, I got in your face and da 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 da. Do I have screenshots? If I do, I'm gonna put it up here. But she got in my face. Like, she was like, oh, I got in her face. And I'm like, what y'all big, hefty, big, wide, built, wrong, built looking ass bitch? Don't sit there and try to lie like that. I had witnesses, and I said it just like that, or I said shit like that. I said some out of pocket, but it was just like, it was just like word for word, da 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 da. Ain't nobody really know nothing for real, and it was just like I'm trying to get this shit done with, cause mind you, this shit going on for months. Like, ain't nobody trying to sit there and have unlimited beef for the rest of the year. Like, I'm not really playing shit. Our school really strict on mother, cause they like one fight, I might give you a couple of days. Second fight, you gone. Like that's how they. So yeah, so we figured out time whatever because i couldn't last so long so i just said let's go to the locker room and, and fight it out so we're going to the locker room like around 12 like this was around one someone's lunch period this wasn't around mine though but this was around like the the, the lunch period before mine because that was her lunch so we kept looking at every locker room it's not in the ones we was looking at and she told us we all down the hallway i'm in put the video yeah we all was in the mother hallway rushing down the and whatever so we rushing down that ass just had my fingers cuffed in like them shit ready like in case that bitch behind the door by the door or whatever because i'm just like in my head i'm just like i want to whoop her my mind said the whole time and then when i got in there i seen her she took her glasses off i'm like Whoa. yep straight like that and i don't give a fuck what nobody talking about because it's just like girl i don't have no issue with you but now that you want to keep talking shit for months and months and months now i have a problem and then now you decided to try to buck up at me like I'm littler to you? Yeah, nah. Yeah, we're not going to do that. So I just came in with all my energy. I was like, boo, we got the fighting. Oh, 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 oh. You know that six on? Oh, oh, oh. Bitch, we was at that motherfucker front door fighting like two niggas. That's exactly how we was fighting. Like, I'm telling you. Like, I ain't going to lie. In the first little bit, it was a couple of times. Like, she kind of flipped me. I ain't even going to lie. What the fuck I'm going to do with 235 pounds? What the fuck I'm going to do with that? Bitch, I weigh 90. The fuck? How am I going to flip that? I can't do that. And for some of y'all to be like, oh, Tiara, you're okay. Like, nigga, I ain't going to lie. That adrenaline kicked in. And my back was kind of hurting. I ain't even going to lie to you. Like, my back was kind of hurting. Like, I'm not saying that fight wasn't like a fucking ass fight but that little part right there that shit didn't really kick in until a couple of weeks ago and then you know yeah but let me tell you something don't act like i ain't leave no mark don't act like i ain't leave no mark bookie because i did i ain't really want to fail y'all like that i don't want y'all to think oh i lost no it was very much a tie in the beginning and that then i will i ain't gonna lie my little four piece hits was just like 
boom, boom, boom. Like they were just coming back, like you just eating like a multiple chicken eggs at the same time. And it's just like boom, boom, boom. Like literally, like I made like a 30,000 edits off that shit, but let's not get into that right now. But yeah, so that fight went on for like a good like 30, 45 minutes. And then after that, I looked at the bitch face. I'm like, bitch, out of your head. Ah, ah, you know, being petty and shit like that. Cause it's just like, bitch, you have a problem with me for months. This is what you get. Like, I don't care. Like, nigga, I only had like a little scratch right here, but it went away for like after two days or shit like that. So after we fought, let me tell y'all what the fuck I did. Niggas would probably be out there crying. My motherfuckers are twerking in the mirror. I ain't even gonna lie. Cause like, nigga, it was just such a blessing. Cause I told y'all I wasn't being petty, but Lord, this situation just get me riled up every time. But yeah, you know I started talking in the mirror, ran out the locker room, was happy as hell, but didn't want to give our fucking suspicions. Cause mind y'all, I told y'all this fight wasn't supposed to happen at school. It was really supposed to happen outside, but I couldn't take it, so I had to whoop ass. Well, so you know, yeah. So after that little situation, I went back to class and I was hard breathing like fuck. Like I was like, hey, hey y'all, like yeah shit like that and i was trying to talk and then apparently my friend who recorded this sent me to the group chat and my man was in that class at the time y'all so you know he was like ah, supporting me while he while i whooped that bitch ass and because like yeah everybody must definitely see my flip and y'all let me tell y'all that flip was very much legendary and i ain't even gonna lie like that flip most definitely gotta go in the books from other wwe history yeah. like that little shit she ate that one little thing. I'm not even gonna lie to you, but that little four piece combo at the end, that shit was too. And I would say that um, it really was a tie, but again, at the end of the day, who left worse? That's how I feel. Who left worse? My ass left with a scratch. Your ass left with a big ass. After that first hit, it was just like history. After that little situation, you know, she got me up a little bit because you know, of that i can't beat up the world like i can't beat up every person in the world but at the same time i'm not gonna let you take me down bookie so after that little flip i got my black ass up and i started getting up on her shit i'm like boom 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 and you know she kind of flipped me again but you know what i did i flipped her ass right the fuck back enough as i could like i couldn't flip her like i could but i flipped her head and i could just like but you know yeah so at the end of the day I will say, um, we don't talk, we don't speak to each other, we don't indulge in drama at school after that situation had happened. You win some, you lose some, but at the same time, you always hold your ground. And that's what I, that's what I had to let everybody know. Like, I don't give a damn if I did win or did lose, because some people was doubting me, some people wasn't. But at the end of the day, it was about fucking fighting over my self-respect. Because you're not going to sit there and talk shit about me, and you don't even know me, Bookie. Like, I don't care for bitch do that all the time where I'm from, and it's just like, what is your purpose? Like... Bitch, you want to be cool that bad? You got to talk about supposed to be cool? So that's the end of this video, y'all. I'm sorry that I got too in-depth about the situation. If y'all don't like long videos like this, I'm sorry. But I'm just the type of person to go in-depth about every little single thing. And I had to get every detail because, you know, I ain't want to miss nothing. So, yeah, that's the end of this video. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. And also, let me put it in the end of the video that don't indulge yourself in drama in high school. Because that shit will eat you the fuck up and you'll be in the same situation I was in. But if bitch keep trying, you know what the fuck to do. You need to beat their ass. I'll see you in the next video.